In today's video we will be featuring a website by Orange County, California. The website is occovid19.ochealthinfo.com. So without wasting any time, let's get it started. First, let's see how OC Health guys are using their chatbot, and then we will see how to create a similar one. So, here is the chat widget on the bot corner, click this to open chat window. We can see that the bot greets the users, with the welcome messages. These are the messages users see, when opening chat for the very first time. We can see there are some text messages as well as a list rich message. So first, let's click the first option, do I have to wear my mask? Once we click it, the bot replies in real time with the response. And not just text, but with images and link buttons as well. If we click this link button, it will take us to a new page. Not only this, the user can continue their chat on this new page as well. No need to start a new conversation again. Now, that's convenient, right? Although, if they want to, then there is an option to do so. Just click back arrow and click start new conversation. It's as simple as that. Now let's see what happens. If we click this, where can I get vaccinated? Option. Now, the bot has replied with another rich message. This type of message is known as card message. You can see, the user can simply click this link and register themselves for vaccination. All this is so quick. This not only saves time of the user, but of the company as well. Okay, now enough with the demo, let's see how you can create one for your website. For this tutorial you will need a communicate account, if you don't have one yet, the registration link is in the description box below. Register now, for a 30 day free trial. Once you have done that, log into your communicate dashboard. Here, from the side navigation panel, click bot integration. After that, click on compose, on the next page you can either choose from one of the existing templates, or you can click blank. Which is what we'll do for this video. After clicking blank, give your bot a name. For example, healthcare. Then choose a bot photo. You can also upload your own if you want to. Then choose a default language for your bot, we will leave it at English for now. Then click save and proceed. On the next page, you can choose to enable or disable the bot to human handoff feature. If enabled, your bot can hand off the conversation to a human team member, when it is unable to recognize any user query. We will enable this, and click, finish bot setup. On the next screen you can set this bot, to handle all your incoming conversations, you can do this later from settings as well. Next, you'll land on Compose's bot builder section. From here we will create intents for our newly created chatbot. The first category, is welcome message. These are the messages, which the user sees the first time they start the conversation. For example we can say, Hi, how can I help you? Choose any option from below. Then you can add more text messages, and buttons like vaccine registration etc. You can also add link buttons, which when clicked, will take the user to a particular URL. Apart from this, you can also add images, action button, or custom payload. We'll see all that in this video, so, stick around till the end. You can always add more intents by clicking this add button. Let's move to our next category, which is, answer. From here, let's create a new intent. Give your intent any name, then from training phrases add the phrase which you expect the users to ask. Once you begin typing, you'll also see suggestions for your existing buttons, if any. Let's create one for this button. Then under bots reply, add your reply for the phrase. For example, in this case, you can describe the process for booking vaccine slot. Then we can a link button to the registration page. Next, you can add custom payloads, click custom payload button. Then click this link here, it will take you to our rich messages document where you can find pre-built codes for various rich messages so that you don't have to go through the coding process. Here you can find various types, like link buttons, list, cards, and card carousels etc. Copy any of the code, then paste it in the custom payload section. Now all you need to do is edit the code as per your need, replace the images, text and URLs. And you're done. Here is one example of card carousel, just copy the code, paste in the custom payload section. Edit as per your need, then click Trainbot. You can see the preview window on the right side, how your chatbot is shaping up. You can see this is how the carousel and other messages will look. Repeat this process for various intents and you will have a working chatbot in no time. The next section, is small talk. Small talk are the generic messages such as hello, hi, good morning etc. Your Compose bot comes with plenty of inbuilt intents, and you can always create more if you want. The last section, is unknown user input. Here you can create messages which will get triggered, in case any user query doesn't match any of the available intents. In that case you can configure a text message, and select an action. 
You can choose from various options, you can assign the conversation to a team or a particular agent etc. Once all that is done, click this test button to test your chatbot. You will land on a test page where you will be able to see your bot in action. So guys, that is it for this video. If you feel it was helpful, then hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.